Hi everyone. Hard to believe that it's been a year since Janice and I moved out to California. As you know, we came on a big adventure of faith. We wanted to be near our daughter, and I wanted to take a year away from ministry to see if I could get some writing projects done that were burning a hole in my heart. It hasn't hurt that the weather's been so incredible. It's California. This is how I like my snow, on a t-shirt. Well, with God's help, I made quite a dent in that list of projects. First on the list was to let Hollywood know about my Ben-Hur sequel because the movie that came out last August was going to be a blockbuster. Instead, how to describe that movie? Hmm. So, it was on to project number two, which is set up a full writing website. I hope you've made a few swings by blclifton.com and enjoyed some of the blogs and devotionals I put there. In October, I participated in a Write a Screenplay in a Week contest, and my script took the $1,000 first prize, which is cool. Hold that thought. In November and December, I rewrote my novel, Sparrow, and then I wrote a 120-page screenplay built off of this novel to be either a movie or a pilot for a possible TV series. Also in the winter, I wrote a 300-page purity devotional called Train Yourself to Be Godly. Asked my church in Connecticut. I've been trying to get to this thing for three or four years. In the spring, I took that screenplay that won the contest and I developed it into three one-hour episodes of a TV series called Tinkerville, inspired by It's a Wonderful Life. It's about a powerful angel that takes up residency in a suburban town as a school maintenance man. His name is Jonathan Tinker, and like Clarence in the original movie, he has the ability to tinker with reality. All kinds of fun and mayhem breaks out. They say in Hollywood it takes 10 years to break in. With all these irons in the fire, maybe I've shaved it down to eight, or seven, maybe six. While I remain optimistic, I also have to be realistic. I gave myself a year to write, which time I knew I'd have to look for work. I may be dumb, but not stupid. I'm an idiot! You're an idiot! You're an idiot! So what's next for us? Well, this is where it gets interesting and why I wanted to share this video with you, our family and friends, and those cheering us on. I've updated my resume. And I am ready to put my pastor's hat on again. A pastor cannot pastor. It's in his blood. The Lord may very well be leading in that direction. But it also seems that God is tinkering with me with another thought. I have an idea growing inside of me. It's big and bold and audacious. And to pull it off, I'm gonna need your help. Those of you that know me know when I get a big idea, there's only one way you should respond. This book on purity that I wrote, it's starting to make some noise. Huzzah! And as I've been praying about where God is going to take us next, there's this thought I can't shake that train yourself to be godly is meant to be more than a book. It's meant to be a ministry that I take on the road and share with others. If you build it, he will come. A major Christian publisher has looked at my proposal for Train Yourself to Be Godly, and they like it, and they're leaning toward getting on board, but publishing is a challenging industry today. And, and me? I'm a horse with no name. I rode through the desert, too, to get here, by the way. That's a joke. Is it? Some of you get it. Anyway, they want it field tested, meaning they want some churches and they want some groups to look at the material, which means I have to get out there and facilitate some of these field tests. Of course, we'd ask that you be praying for us. It goes without saying. If we're going to pull this off, then we need a big ministry team around us of people who know us and believe in us and are willing to pray for us and who are willing to support us in the early months of launching this outreach, which we're calling Train Yourself Ministry. This is way too big for us to do on our own. You're going to need a bigger boat. But maybe the Lord has something up his sleeve. There's a website called Patreon, which is doing something brilliant. Its name comes from the word patron, which goes all the way back to a time when artists were supported through the giving of their patrons, people who believed in their work. And so to free them to pursue their craft, they provided financial support. Patreon is built around that idea. So, for example, there's this University of Toronto professor named Jordan Peterson who 
who's made a courageous stand against this transgender thing that's been affecting his teaching. His job is at risk because of this. He could actually face arrest and imprisonment for breaking laws now on the books in Canada. I mean, it truly is madness. And it's coming here, by the way. Well, he has supporters who have now rallied around him and agreed to support him financially through Patreon. He now has over 5,000 patrons who have agreed to pledge support totaling $56,000 a month. Well, God bless him. I'm much more realistic. I, I would hope that I could get half that amount. Inconceivable! And that's how Patreon works. Each patron sends in their monthly support to Patreon on behalf of the person they're supporting. Patreon gets 5% as a management fee, 4% for credit card transactions, and the rest goes to the artist, the entrepreneur, the pastor. And each one has their own portal through the Patreon website through which they communicate regularly with their team. It really is a unique and novel way to experience a new form of community today. The only downside is that donations to Patreon are not tax deductible, but that could change once once I register Train Yourself Ministry as a nonprofit, which I'm attempting to do. So here's the deal. If I'm going to get Train Yourself Ministry off the ground and have the time to do it well, I'm going to need your help. And I'm asking for your help. And those of you that know me know I don't do this easily. Colonoscopy prep is more fun. But if God is in this and something amazing were to happen because of this, wouldn't it be cool to know that we all had a hand in putting it together? So how can you help? I'd like you to think of Janice and me as being your missionaries to Hollywood. And as with any other missionary you support, I'd ask you to consider joining us as a contributing part of our mission team for a minimum of six months. On September 1st, I'll be opening an account with Patreon and you'll be able to go directly to their website and register any amount you'd like to contribute to us for Train Yourself Ministry. They ask that you give monthly rather than a one-time gift. That might be irritating for some, but I think the good in that is that it'll keep us connected regularly. Any amount will be helpful. If the kids want to do a, a Kool-Aid stand and send us a dollar a month, that'd be awesome. Tank of gas here, cartridge of ink there, shipping for books, it all adds up. Believe me, it ain't cheap living in L.A. I'll share with anybody who asks what our break-even monthly budget is. Just make sure you have a defibrillator nearby. For your pledges, here's my pledge to you of what I hope to accomplish the next six months. By September 1st, I will open a new website dedicated to this ministry, trainyourselfministry.com. By October 1st, I will contact a minimum of 250 churches and ministries, introducing them to the book and to the ministry, offering to come free of charge, except for travel expenses, if they'll help field test the ministry. By Christmas, I hope to generate 12 speaking engagements. Not sure if that's realistic or not, but like Wayne Gretzky said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Also this fall, I want to network with at least three other existing ministries that are doing what I hope to do. I have much to learn if I'm going to have a chance of making this work. During the winter, I want to research grants for the ministry and also begin work on a second Train Yourself book, Train Yourself for Marriage. I hope to complete the book by Easter. And I also hope to complete a shorter devotional, 40 Benefits of Faith in Christ, to have available for the Lenten season. And I want to continue marketing my existing writing projects. So that's what's been happening. This past year has been unlike any that Jan and I have experienced before. It's been exhilarating, frightening, amazing, crazy, sometimes all on the same day. And now new opportunities and challenges are awaiting us. But if Jesus is with us, my friends, if you're alongside of us, it's gonna be good. We'll keep you up to speed. Please be praying for us and be thinking about if you can join us at the ground floor or train yourself ministry. We love you. Bye for now.